Jurors saw a series of graphic videos on Wednesday showing the moments after Kyle Rittenhouse shot three protesters in Wisconsin last year. Footage showed 26-year-old Anthony Huber lying motionless and bleeding, and 27-year-old Gage Grosskreutz screaming for medical aid. Rittenhouse is facing multiple charges, including homicide, in the killing of two protesters and wounding of a third when he shot them with a semi-automatic rifle during unrest in Kenosha that was sparked by a white policeman who shot and seriously wounded a black man. The 18-year-old, who watched the videos calmly, has pleaded not guilty, and his lawyers say he acted in self-defense. The prosecution showed video of Joseph Rosenbaum, the first person shot, motionless on the ground, after having thrown a plastic bag with toiletries at Rittenhouse. Video then showed Rosenbaum being carried to a vehicle that would take him to a hospital. Martin Howard, a Kenosha police detective, said there was no evidence that Rosenbaum was armed when he was shot. At any point in any of those videos, is there any indication that Mr. Rosenbaum had any weapon of any kind? No. No gun? I can only see a plastic bag that he's carrying. Video showed Rittenhouse running from the scene of the Rosenbaum shooting as others sought to provide medical aid. Rittenhouse's attorneys have sought to portray Rosenbaum as the individual who lit the fuse that night. Some legal experts have said the prosecution has a tough job in convincing a jury that Rittenhouse did not fear for his life. He seemed nervous in the situation. Corey Washington, a social media influencer who live-streamed the unrest and captured video of Rittenhouse, said the then 17-year-old appeared nervous and took note of his behavior before the shootings occurred. I don't know, he just kind of looked young to me, and he had his gloves on and he was smoking cigarettes and stuff. So I was, I don't know, I kind of was like, uh, he kind of seemed like an interesting figure, so I just took a mental note of that. Okay. Not saying that I felt like, oh, this is a guy that's going to go around and mow a bunch of people down or anything like that. I just was like, oh, that's interesting. Under Wisconsin law, people can use deadly force if they reasonably believe it necessary to prevent someone from killing or causing great bodily harm to them.